Well, in the race for governor, a major setback for Republican Bob Stefanowski. He won't get a second line on the November ballot. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven joining us right now. John, Stefanowski pushed hard for this. Very hard, Eric. You know, Stefanowski wanted the tiny independent party of Connecticut to give them their line on the November ballot. But in a stunning move, the party rejected Stefanowski by just one controversial vote. It was a dramatic end to a dramatic night. It's a tie vote. I had to break, break the tie. I'm going to vote for who our state central committee has endorsed. And that is my point. The Independent Party of Connecticut will put its own candidate on the ballot. We spoke to Rob Hodling on Connecticut power and politics. Uh, most Americans and most Connecticut uh, voters are looking for a third option. Bob Stefanowski's campaign now threatening a lawsuit. A spokesman says party chairman Teleska has no authority to break a tie. If a candidate does not achieve 51% of the vote, a revote is to be held. It's questionable as to whether he could vote once let alone twice. The problem we have is we had a tie vote. Why so much fuss over a minor political party? Because a second line on the ballot can be a game changer. In 2010, it helped Dan Malloy squeak out a win over Tom Foley. In 2018, the Independent Party snagged Stefanowski an extra 25,000 votes. Ned Lamont's Working Families line nabbed him 17,000 more. This all comes amid a major shakeup on the Stefanowski campaign. No Tolls Connecticut leader Pat Sasser is taking over, and Donald Trump's former ad man is coming on too. It's obviously a change of direction, implying that something's not working right now, and um, I hope we keep it positive. I hope we keep to the issues. Governor Lamont will have two lines on the November ballot, and the Democratic Governors Association just poured another $350,000 into his campaign. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.